does the person you are with encourage you to read you have to ask what does he bring for me roses or books if someone has a stake in making you better that person will push you towards books books are what we all need another thing we had uh, talked about and noticed was uh, did you feel that i know you had mentioned to me that if in finland two people see each other that try to avoid each other that keep physical distance and even if they met they wouldn't ask a lot of any personal questions and i'm just curious what's your experience been here i know you said at the hotel there was uh something that happened uh well yes i mean yes in finland in general it's i guess it's considered polite to just leave people alone keep your distance and most of Not the to do this yeah definitely no, yeah. no 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 <laughs> and definitely like there are certain things that are good etiquette maybe but if you don't know the other person it does see this again comes from just yeah. taking a bit from the saints mm. and discarding the rest mm. frankly this kind of a touch you behavior and pat you and hug you behavior even if i'm sweating mm. and you too are sweating i still want to touch you all over <laughs> this frankly comes from a very distant point of love mm. i do not want to treat you as distant i do not want to treat you as the other i do not want to treat you as an alien or a foreigner or uh, uh, you know so that's why i come even physically close and i feel entitled to do so i can just come and slap on your not on your face on your on your back mm, mm. and uh, that's considered very jovial of me frankly it is because of the heritage coming down from the saints huh? do not be so distant there is no need to give so much space to the ego come a little closer but then love is not about uh, this physical kind of nearness love is about first of all knowing what is right doing it for yourself and enabling the other to live the right way as well so that's called really getting close to the other getting close to the other implies helping the other get close to the truth that is that is real love so the saint said get close to the other to enable the other to get close to the truth that's a complete statement coming down from let's say vedant now what did we do we kept one convenient half of the sentence and happily disregarded the rest of it which part of the sentence did we keep get close to the other get close to the other so this much we remember hmm? all over south east asia this is this is the culture in a crowded place nobody would mind brushing shoulders if if uh, if, if someone goes past you uh, while brushing against any body part any body part the fellow does not even feel to say sorry because it's, it's fine i mean uh, why are you acting so distant why are you acting so special can't i even touch you after all the saints have said that all bodies are the same we are just the soil we rose from so why are you trying to act so pricey what special about your body i can touch it that's not what we explicitly say but in some sense that is the feeling coming down from there it's all right to not to treat the other as uh, as distant or uh, or alien or a separated one 
But one has to know the f- full thing. If you know only half the thing, that's uh, worse than knowing nothing at all. Hmm? So we have people who would intrude into the other's lives. The concept of personal or private space does not exist. People happily barge in. Hmm? And they can ask you such questions. They could even ask you, well, you know, how are your things with your wife? An elderly one can actually come and ask this. An elderly one from, let's say, the extended family and can come and ask you, so how, how are you doing in your married life? Or uh, when are you getting your daughter married? Somebody may even ask you, how much are you earning? Hmm? You are just standing somewhere and somebody can come so close to you. You can smell his mouth. And if you step back, that's rude. <laughs> so, so, these are all uh, corrupted flavors of love. So they, they come from that tradition of love. India has a very strong thing about love. Hmm? An Indian may not know anything else. There is this in fact popular movie song uh, from movie Pura Band Pashim, ah, East and West. Hmm? So this popular thespian Manoj Kumar, he was the actor uh, singing this one. Uh, so the line says, Kuch aur na aata ho humko, hume pyar nibhana aata hai. We as Indians may know nothing at all, but we know what is love. Hmm? We remain loyal, we remain steadfast. So, that obviously cannot be the case. If you know nothing at all, you will not know, you will not know love either. But uh, somehow this thing has gone into the Indian psyche that uh, lovers we all are. Hmm? And uh, love means having some kind of uh, a right over the other's life. Yes, of course, in love you do have a right over the other's life. But in what sense? That's a question lost to India. We don't address that question. West knows love of the personal kind and no other love. India was fortunate it came to know of a higher love. But it reduced that higher love to one of personal kind. No, I do not know which one is the worst tragedy to not to know love at all or to reduce higher love to a personal point hmm? i would think the latter is worse hmm? 